Do you feel like bad days are now your new normal? Well, truth is, bad days are often caused by our own built up bad habits or an underlying, maybe unconscious belief that if it starts bad, it's going to just get worse. That means you usually have the power to not have a bad day. It's all about setting the stage for it to happen. Here are some quick tips that are good habits to cultivate. You may even find that some bad habits are only bad because of the way they've been handled so far. So here are a few habits to help you make your day better. Number one, remembering to be grateful. This isn't momentarily saying, okay, this in my life is good, that in my life is good. It's a brain exercise. A brain exercise? Yeah, you're training your brain to see the good and the beauty of life as part of its norm instead of living in a blanket of problems and negativity. The when you do this is up to you. Doing it at the start of your day means you set the day up for a positive outlook. Doing it before bed helps to unload heaviness and exhaustive stress thoughts. Number two, change your scenery. Buy a plane ticket? Not necessarily. A walk in the park works too. Visiting a new place once in a while can help stimulate your mind, giving you that recharge so you can continue doing work in a healthy headspace. Number three, do one thing at a time. We know it sounds more efficient if you can do everything all at once. Unfortunately, human cloning isn't a thing because that's the only way all at once would really work. Partially doing a whole bunch of little things will leave you with a whole bunch of unfinished things that are hastily wrapped up because you're now overwhelmed. You're a quality person. And when you do one thing at a time, that quality shines through. If it's a massive project, break it up into itty bitty parts that you complete one at a time in entirety. Each small completion is a win. 50 wins and a quality result versus one sort of win with a mediocre result? Which one sounds better? Number four, laugh. Laughter is, as they say, the best medicine. It activates the release of some feel-good hormones and spreads joy to others. It helps break tension and lighten negative feelings. Your day is going to be better if you and the people in your life are happier. Number five, help someone. This one has a double positive. Firstly, helping others is the way humans usually function happiest. We feel accomplished, useful, even valuable. Helping someone exercises our empathy and compassion, allowing us to expand our perspective and subsequently allowing us to like ourselves more. Secondly, in helping another person, you're helping to problem solve. And this in turn could give you the knowledge and inspiration on how to deal with an issue in your own life. Number six, prepare the night before. If we're honest with ourselves, sometimes that bad day happens because we didn't prep the night before. We know when it's late and you just want to sleep, it's easy to convince yourself, I can totally quickly do that thing in the morning. And we know how that works out. Morning arrives, your half asleep brain and body won't do the thing and now you're stressed, frazzled and feeling insecure. So just give an honest little rebuttal to the voice that's telling you I can do this in the morning and take at least a few minutes to do some prep for the next day. When you wake up and it's all ready to go, you'll already be doing gratitude practice. Number seven, hype yourself up. Yes, we're telling you to buy into your own hype. It may not work for everyone, but it's worth a try. Before a big event or performance, even going to a gathering you're nervous about, you can buy into your own hype for just that amount of time. That booster shot of extra self-belief, even though temporary, could be what makes the big deal event go that much smoother which in turn can make the day, the week, your life that much better. Saying or writing down affirmations every day can help with this. And gradually with increased self-belief, confidence will naturally flow. Number eight, relaxation. Yep, we said it, relax. Okay, we know that sounds super vague. I don't know how to relax, you say. Not to worry, we're not gonna leave you hanging. To practice relaxing, as odd as that sounds, Create a relax and de-stress routine. This can be as simple as reading a good book, taking a warm bath, and listening to calming music. This will allow you to focus on each step and really do the relaxing, detaching, and unwinding. This means too that the hamster wheel of worry is no longer interrupting your sleep, and better sleep means better mood. 
Number nine, take your time. We all wanna do things quickly to get to the next thing and then to the next. But we forget that sometimes the best thing you can do is take your time to enjoy what you're doing at the moment. Taking your time ensures that you do a good job on your project, that you focus on it, and that you learn how to be in the present moment. Bonus, this is a sort of gratitude practice, allowing you to get the best out of every second and be present in the moment. Although the media would like to have us believe that if we buy that product, our lives will be better. In truth, it's the little things that only we can do for ourselves that make the biggest difference. These tips are by no means exhaustive, but we hope we've given you an idea of things to try or maybe inspired you to look up other happy habits to learn. Which of these happy habits have you tried or have worked for you? Any other habits you'd like to suggest? Please feel free to comment, discuss, and spread the joy. We also strongly believe clicking the like button will contribute to a better day. Thanks for watching and see you soon.